Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we saw the concept of the target load plan. So let's today, let's take a look at the example of it. Informatica allows you to load multiple targets using more than one pipeline in a single mapping. For example, we need to load the employees table and the departments table sequentially. And they have to be loaded together every time. So instead of creating two separate mappings, we'll create a single mapping with two separate sources and two separate targets. They won't be linked to each other and the two flows will be mutually exclusive. Due to this, we'll have the option to run whichever flow we want first. This functionality is achieved by the target load operator or the target load plan. So let's move over to the uh, practical and open the designer first. Connect to the repository using the username administrator and the password oracle. Okay, connect. Open the trainings folder. Yeah, open it. Let's create a new mapping. Create. And let's name the mapping as M underscore EMP underscore department DEPT underscore regions underscore three sorry three pipelines okay now in this mapping we'll create three different pipelines for the employees table the department table and the regions table so let's drag and drop this flat file source first for our employ for our regions table as flat file source and then this department's uh, table as the source but wait let me see yeah this is the flat file for some other table so let's <clears throat> bring in the sources all the three tables as the sources the departments table the employees table and the regions table right click and arrange all so that they're arranged in an orderly manner so yeah let's bring in the targets now drag and drop the targets expand this bring in the departments table as the target then the employees table as the target for employees stream and then this target file which is for the regions uh, of target file so let's connect the source qualifier to their respective targets firstly the departments table so select all the columns and drag and drop them to the target and there you go now for the employees source qualifier select all the source qualifier columns and bring them forward to the employees target table there you go now for the regions table select both the columns and bring them to the target file select the arrange all options so they're arranged in an orderly manner now here this stream loads data from the departments table to the departments table of target then from the employees table of hr to the employees table of the target and then regions table from hr to the target flat file save your work and you can see that this uh, mapping is valid and it has been inserted to the repository so let's move over to the session and workflow open the workflow manager connect to the repository yeah it has already connected now let's create a new workflow workflows create and give it the name of wf underscore emp employees underscore departments underscore regions <coughs> underscore three underscore pipelines click OK yeah now let's create the session for this mapping click on session 
drop it over here select the mapping that we just created click ok yeah ok let's link it to the start of the workflow and now we should set a few properties of the session that we've seen earlier so double click on the session firstly we'll rename it select the fail parent if task fails rename the session remove the m underscore for naming convention purposes let's go over to the properties tab select the right backward compatibility session log scroll down commit interval as 10,000 that's fine scroll down nothing else to be set over here let's go to config objects scroll down and set the session run property to 5 then stop on errors as 1 go to mappings tab now for the first source qualifier of the department's table ok let's set these sources and target variables as source as HR ok and the target as target click ok now let's go to the mapping tab and for the first department source qualifier table select set the session connection as a variable dollar source okay no other option needs to be set for this source qualifier let's move on to the next source qualifier employees table set this connection as the variable dollar source as well nothing else to be set over here either now the source qualifier for regions table set the connection as dollar source over here again source click ok yeah no other option to be set now let's move on to the targets now firstly the departments table so for here let's set the connection to the connection variable as dollar, dollar target okay click ok scroll down for more properties and let this be bulk scroll down and select the truncate table option yeah no other option needs to be set let's move on to the next target table employees the same connection variable as dollar target click ok set the truncate target, target option over here as well <clears throat> no other option to be set over here now let's move on to the regions target uh, file so this is a file writer we just need to specify the output file directory and the file name over here so let's copy and paste the doc desktop uh, address okay paste this over here let's name the file as target file. okay let's name it as region underscore target dot txt yeah okay now all the options have been set we don't need to set any other option apply this click ok yeah nothing else yeah click ok save your work and now let's start the workflow you'll be taken to the workflow monitor now okay here you can see that it's running Okay. Uh oh, it failed. So what's uh, the error? Table employees has index defined one. Oh, the employees table has index defined on it, and we have been using the bulk load option, which cannot be used with index tables. So let's set the employees table load type as normal, and click OK. Save your work. 
and restart the workflow now. Yeah, now you can see that it has succeeded with 27 rows applied to the department's table, 107 rows applied to the employee's table, and 27 uh, and 4 rows applied to the target region's file. Let's go to the session log and see which stream was run first and which was run later. You can see that the session 3 pipeline is running. Let's scroll down and see what we have here. Scroll further down. Okay, here you can see the target file is the first loading, which is the regions table. So we've inserted four rows in the regions table first, then we loaded data into the employees table, and lastly, we loaded data into the departments table, the 27 rows. So the default order which Informatica used was regions, employees, and then departments. Let's go back to the mappings and change this order. Click on mappings go to target load plan here you can see different source qualifiers so use these arrows to move them up or down so move employees departments on top then employees then regions okay let's make it as employees then departments and then regions click ok and let's run the save this let's go back to yeah save it let's go back to the workflow manager and refresh this mapping, refresh this mapping for the session whenever you make any changes and then simply save it. Now let's rerun the workflow. It's running now and perfect, it succeeded. Now let's see in the session log what was the order of the streams that ran. Get session log maximize this okay this was running scroll down okay here you can see that the employees table was loaded first yeah employees table then the departments table was loaded as we had specified and then lastly the target file for the regions table was loaded so here you can see how we controlled the flow of three different streams that we created in Informatica. This is a really important option that is available in with Informatica. So take full use of it, take full benefit from it. So in the coming lecture, we'll be wrapping up this topic with a few issues that we have in this pipeline with multiple pipeline mappings. So stay with us till then. Thank you so much. Bye bye.